Hi guys, HCG Berry Babe checking in. Did not check in yesterday. Um, I was once again campground grungy, but uh, we came home. So uh, I was up and about today, so I thought I'd vlog. It's very hot here again in Michigan, and my husband's got the big attic fan on, so I came out to the trailer. It's a little warm out here too, so I won't vlog for very long. Um, today is Friday. Um, and Thursday morning, um, if you remember Wednesday morning, I had gone up 1.6, no, yeah, 1.6, no, 1.3, I don't know, I'd gone up. Um, Thursday morning, yesterday morning, I was down 1.6, which was a net release for the two days of 0.3. This morning, I was down 0.4, um, for 10.5 pounds lost in 14 VLCDs. I'm losing ground here. Um, I'm currently at 167.3, which I'm in the 160s. Yay! I hope I never see 170 again. That's the goal of my life, is never, ever to hit 170 again. I'd like to get down into the 150s and use the 150s for my um, range and panic when I see 160 instead of panicking when I see 190, which is what happened this time. So, um, my goal is 155. Um, when I hit it, I want to get lower, but this is, you know, I don't even know. I've been on HCG almost continuously. If you go back and check my vlogs back to the beginning, I've pretty much been on around, um, since I first vlogged. I have been off sometimes for maybe two months at a time, um, which never have I done P3 correctly. So this time will be a real challenge because I really want to get down and stay down. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm, I'm old. I'm tired. I've been fighting all my life. I've had three bariatric surgeries. It still takes HCG for me to be able to get to goal and thank God for it. I don't want to do any weight loss without it because I know it's targeting the fat it needs to. So um, tonight I went this afternoon. Um, my husband had an open house to go to for someone from his Lions Club family and um, I went to see The Conjuring 2. Um, if I let myself get sucked in that this was real then it was pretty terrifying. Otherwise it was a well crafted movie. If you do go um, stay to the end because they actually show photographs and um, audio of the original for real. Um, this is the story of the Enfield, Enfield um, London haunting that supposedly is the best documented um, paranormal uh, whatever. Um, so my husband likes, he wants uh, shooting and car chases. And so <laughs> I like do 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 um, and human interests. So there was one movie, Lucy, who was about a, a woman who took a drug or something and was at her max capacity and she could um, then with her mind, you know, knock men over and blow things up. So there were car chases and there were a lot of gunshots, but it had my paranormal scientific sci-fi kind of a thing. So we don't go to too many movies together. Um, Non-scaled victory. Uh, we have quite wide seats at our theater. And um, so this is not one that I didn't fit into. There there was one in a small town that I used to go to that I just would like over. And um, But this time, instead of putting my purse on the seat next to me, because, you know, there were not very many people there, um, I had room for it on the seat. Not in the seat next to me, but on my seat next to me. So that was kind of a new, a new thing. Usually I just plop it over there and um, 
but I wanted to get into it and I thought well I hate to keep hauling it over so yeah it just fit right there so it stayed right there so then after that I went out to Kohl's I had a 30 percent between my daughter and I we keep we keep the Kohl's total pretty high I do a lot of HCG boutiquing and over the weekend in Bad Axe which is where the town we were near um, B-A-D-A-X-E, Bad Axe, you heard me correct. Um, not ass, not badass. Um, I went to, they have a, a what they call Thumb Industries, which is similar to Goodwill, and then a Goodwill. And I found two Chico's sheer polyester blouses. Um, the one is so me, it's um, whitish background with um, turquoise and Kelly Green, um, Paisley. Paisley's my thing. Anytime you see Paisley, I'm going to have to look twice. And the other one is purple, and I may not ever wear it, but it was like, it fits so nice. It's a size 2, which, you know, I, I love Chico's, and whenever I go to the HCG boutiques, um, I'm always looking for Chico's. They're, I don't like their red, black, white things but boy they have some gorgeous prints a lot of times when I've complimented people that I see out and around they've been wearing Chico's and I remember um, Lori Fluffy No Mo I think you had a Chico shirt on when we met in Ohio a couple years ago so I found uh, a dress I'm not a dress girl I used to be uh, you know 20 well 15 years ago 20 years ago um, when I worked with the court I used to wear dresses all the time but being a teacher and and being retired you know I don't wear dresses and this whole pantyhose thing I'm not really comfortable without pantyhose yet you know so and my legs are skinny <laughs> so um, but my daughter's getting married next summer and I just don't know what to do so I've started looking for dresses, and tonight I found um, one, and I ordered it. In the large, it looked good if I sucked in real tight, so I'm hoping I'm going to lose some more, but I ordered it in the extra large as well. Um, but then I had tried on another one, and this one is sleeveless, and um, I had my arms uh, trimmed, but I'm still pretty nervous about exposing them to that extent. Um, I'll have a whole nother year under my belt before then. But there was one I tried on that um, had sleeves that came to the elbow, which I took pictures in the dressing room and um, was not bad, not bad at all. Um, if you are, I, I, I record and I send. I'm not do, I don't do any editing or anything like that. But if you want to see a picture of me before, um, go to my videos, and I think there's one that shows me with the red dress. My highest was 323, and that was that picture was taken back in the 80s when my husband um, has law school and joined the bar, so I was quite a bit younger. Um, but that was pretty much my highest and um, then if you scroll if you watch that vlog I think I've inserted a body shot of when I was 165 a couple years ago so um, I'm almost back to 165 my body shot will be a little bit different next time I do it because my arms have been trimmed and I've had my breasts lifted and that trimmed them from a massive D down to a, a C and a B. He, yeah, he trimmed too much off one of them. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But I have a much more normal profile. I still was, you know, I had my, my I had a tummy tuck. And so my bottom, um, I don't have a bottom, but my bottom half, I also had very small thighs, but I had that skin tightened. So I'm like, I've been like this and just feeling like a sumo linebacker is what we call it. And so I don't feel that here anymore. Um, so one of these days I might do a body shot or I might wait till I get to goal. So um, I think that's it. Tomorrow I see my surgeon for the um, second time and hear what he has to say about... Um, 
the outcome. I love the shape, but like I said, one is a whole cup size smaller, and he took tissue out of the smaller one to make it match the other one, and now I'm going to have to do something to bring this one up to speed. But it's so nice, you know. <laughs> I, um, having been heavy all my life, and then bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller, and I was a, an ample D if you pulled it all up and stuffed it in my bra. I got tired of every time I had a, like a nightgown on without a bra and I'd bend over, I'd tickle my knees. And I noticed that since I've been clipped, um, I don't have to hold myself when I reach over into the washing machine to keep from getting, I won't say literally, it in the ringer, but um, I don't have to keep it from falling in there or pressing against it. So it has been, it, it's, it's been a, a thing I'm glad I did. Um, I just wish the outcome had been a little bit more even. So um, that is all I'm thinking about right now. I hope everybody's doing well. And thank you so much for your comments. Bye for now.